Hi YouTube, Edward Tyndall here, and Sarah Tyndall, Mikey Tyndall, and Queen Aunt Tyndall. And she's going to be a member of our family for 30 plus years to come. I had to start this out on macro mode so y'all be able to see all three of these queens have eggs that they're catering to right this very, very moment. And y'all all know my favorite saying, this magic moment. And then, we're going to leave them alone. You don't want to mess with them at all. This one over here has no eggs. This is Mikey's queen. What do you think, Mikey? Mm -hmm. You love her? Is she sweet heart or what? And we're going to do the transfer from the Tar Heel Ants. Oh the Tar Heel Ants thing. Let me get it set up. Hold on. i got to get the... I can't. Hold on. I'm trying to set the camera on the thing. Hold on. What do you got them tweezers for? I pulled our tongue out. You can't pull the ant out with a tweezer. No, I did. All right, well, hold on a minute. Let me get it set up on here because I can't. i got to zoom this in. Here is a, for those of you who are not familiar with this, it's, I think it's called a decompression or de-something chamber. I forget what it's called. But it's 3D printed. It's made out of very good materials and neodymium magnets. Hope I'm saying that right. This is a feeding tray. This is a feeding tray. another feeding tray that will be probably blocked uh, off. I come up with a smart idea for it. Yep, you did. We're probably going to block this one off though because she has no business in there. That's Does a she? Bee in there. They have the eggs. So. They have this little hole here that will water in a little while. You don't want to scratch this up. This is off of a petri dish, I guess. This is Tar Heel Ant design. Hey, I like to put the and they did an excellent, absolutely there. amazing job. If y'all are not subscribed to Tar Heel Ants, please do so. Easy, baby. Hold Easy. on. Hold on, hold on. You can't move her around a lot. Hold on, hold on. Let me get it on film so everybody can see. It works better with your fingers. I hate the feel. Okay. There's that. Oh, hopefully she'll just walk down in there. You think? Don't, we don't want to stress her out too much. I don't know how long this process is supposed to take, but we might maneuver her out with a... No, but she's going. She's going. She's kind of skeptical, but she's going to go, I believe. Or not. As I drink in some of her water. But she has no eggs. This is the best time to transfer them when they have no eggs. Because as soon as she gets in here, I guess she's going to lay eggs on that little water chamber right there in the center with a very fine steel wool mesh that they have in there. Um, this kit, this kit's 25 bucks, plus shipping about 33 or $34, somewhere in there. And I would have to say it's worth every penny versus uh, standard test tube design. What do you think, Mikey? Mm -hmm. So... She will be set up in this chamber, and it's, I guess that's some kind of grout or something in the bottom of here with uh, fine sand on top, which is absolutely amazing. Um, I guess you have to water this or check the water every week or so. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe we need a, uh, an enticing device to pull all that off so I have one piece, one big piece. Come on, here's one. I got it. I'm going to try to run her out of here. He'd have to run her out of there, but I don't know how else to get her. Do you, Mikey? Mm -hmm. My girl. She's aggressive towards that. Look at her. Are y'all seeing that? She's aggressing towards that. There we go. Come on. Come on. And she is in. Lovely. Where's the petri dish thing? Oh, she's going in there. We're going to put this on here. I'm going to wipe this off real quick. She's checking it out. Yes, she is. She's checking everything out. And she's going to absolutely love it. I don't know where they have for eggs. When you get these, you need to wipe them off because the sand and stuff since shipping. Tar Heel Ants tells you to do that. And I forgot. But right, it's all clean. She's checking out all her stuff. I don't know where they have for eggs. You want to uh, water her with your thing or what? Sure. Do you want to or you want me to? You do it. 
All right, let me see. I'll help him. If you do this for your kids, it's a very educational, entertaining thing, and your kids will absolutely love it. Put a little bit easing, easing. See how that's going in there? More. Yep. You don't want to overflow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get a little stuck down in there a little bit. She's drinking that. Look at her. She's drinking that. There it goes. Finally. It busted the surface tension. We're gonna fill this up. Oh, oh, be still, baby, be still, baby. Oh, right, we're gonna fill it up to right there at that point. That's absolutely amazing. What do you think, Mikey? Mm -hmm. Wow! I love Campanatus. If any of y'all can identify what Campanatus species this is, I would appreciate it. I wanted to say Campanatus SPP, but there's a Campanatus Afro. Afrogaster or something, it might be that one. I'm not exactly sure, but now she's completely set up. And then she has these two. I'm guessing she might use one of these chambers for a trash chamber, which uh, this one's connected by a little uh, piece of uh, tubing, 3 h tubing. I would have much rather that been done with a magnet. Um, but Tar Heel Ants is very, uh, very. Uh, accommodating to your needs so if you get in touch with them they will custom design stuff for you even farther what is that oh it's a piece of 3d printed stuff which is in there um y'all let us know what you think in the comments below and if you're interested in watching this i'm a long term long time subscriber to ants canada ants australia ants britannica and uh, we've been watching their videos for years now. And uh, like we absolutely love them. Yep. You've watched some of Tar Hill. Oh, yeah, and Tar Hill Ants, we've watched them too. We, uh, we love insects, all of them. And these are absolutely amazing and fun and educational to the maximum. Now, the idea is that you got to be patient with this species of ant because it's going to take a long time to have eggs and stuff. I mean, a long time before they get workers, but once this formicarium has about 10 workers in there or so, then you can just take this 3 8 tube and open it up into another uh, chamber, or you could probably even put another one of these on there if you wanted to. You could have a whole series of these. That's The, the options are unlimited, really. Um, I will probably consult with Tar Hill Ants and ask them what they think the best move is next time on this. But this is the same species that we did a video on that Mikey had a colony for two years that we dug up. So we dug up the colony. That's where she's going to lay her eggs, where she's at right now on that little screen. But she, uh, we had the colony for two years thinking we had a queen and we obviously didn't. And this is what the queen looks like. And the only reason we dug them up because they were fixing to poison the yard and we would have lost, all would have been lost. What do you think about Tar Heel Ants, Mikey? Is that, mm -hmm. is that awesome or what? <laughs> yeah, we used to feed it honey. Yes, we did. That's another thing. I'm glad you brought that point up. Honey, um, organic honey. And we raised our own bees, so we got awesome amounts of honey. Yeah, they and they love that. Yeah, look, at her, look, at, look at her looking in there. So you're looking in there? There you go. And what? Um, honey and... Uh, honey nut cereal. Oh yeah, we did feed them honey nut Cheerios and stuff before. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's exactly a good thing for them or not. They did eat it, but we're learning. We're learning as we go. And she is going to learn about this enclosure and absolutely love it. And me and Mikey are in the process of making some homemade formicariums and tower formicariums and stuff like that that I'll probably do in the future. Y'all can see the camera shape, shake when Sarah walks. That's something you want to try to avoid. So you, when you get done with uh, an, an area, you want to set them up in a place that's dark and they won't be messed with a lot until they get really established so they can uh, enjoy their life and have the time that they need to get settled in. You don't want to hit it like that. But, uh, and put it somewhere where you can observe it, like cover, cover it up with a 
um, towel or something. Or you can have a sheet of red, clear red stuff over top of it so you won't have to bother them at all because ants, ants cannot see through um, red and it won't, it won't bother them at all. Y'all leave in the comments below what you think. Peace, love, and happiness as always. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Edward Tyndall, Mikey Tyndall, and Mikey Tyndall's Queen Aunt Tyndall. Out.